How we doing, everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with a quick fire Fuego video on how to filter rows in uh, R using dplyr based on a string that you want. And uh, it's going to be really fast, really quick. We need two packages. We need the tidyverse, which contains dplyr, and uh, the datasets library. The dataset we're going to be looking at is MT cars. And so once you load that dataset package, it should just pop up. Uh, one thing we do see here when we look, we're, we're going to filter based on uh, on the car make, model, whatever you call those. Uh, uh, so we're going to filter on this variable. Uh, however, it is actually the row names. Uh, so if we type in row names of MT cars, right, it's going to be all the different cars that we have. And so we can't actually filter based on that because it's not a column. And we, we don't like row names here when we're doing uh, tidy data. All right. Wait. Get that stuff out of here. Uh, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna make a new column. We'll call it car, and into car we're gonna put uh, the row names of MT cars. All right. And so if we look at that, we look at MT cars. Uh, now we have the uh, the row names over here, but we actually have a variable that we can look at on the right side. Um, we're gonna turn this into a tibble because uh, it's the best. Why not? Uh, MT cars. Into that, we're going to put a as underscore tibble uh, MT cars. And so now if we take a look, uh, when you turn it into a tibble, it actually gets rid of row names uh, because they're garbage. And, and so we don't have those anymore, uh, but we have the car variable that we're going to work with. Okay, uh, now that we've gotten through the boring stuff there, uh, let's jump in. So what we're going to use, uh, we're going to do MT cars. All right, so we're taking the MT cars data set. We're going to pipe it into... A filter function and then here's what we're gonna filter by this function we're gonna use is the grep L function and so what this does is it looks for a string uh, in it and it returns a true or false based on whether it's uh, whether it contains a string or not right so the string that we're gonna look for at the beginning um, let's let's look for capital M <clears throat> right capital M um, and so the the first argument that you give uh, the grep L function is uh, what you want to look for and then the second one is the variable or string I guess that you're looking at um, and what we're gonna be looking at is car and so if we filter if we look up here at the beginning we had 32 rows of data after we have uh, 11 rows that contain a capital M in it right so pretty nice you're kind of getting the hang of what's going on here um, so that's that's like a single letter, but you can also put a string in there, right? So let's look for all the cars that are Merc, that murky cars. Mercedes? That's probably Mercedes, right? Um, so anyways, a any string where it's a Mercedes, um, and, and we look, and there are seven, di seven, seven different ones. So any anywhere you see a Mercedes, uh, we, we keep that string, right? But, but what if, right, what if, we don't want Mercedes, right? We want anything except Mercedes. All you have to do for that is throw in an exclamation mark before the grep L, and that's gonna, it does the opposite, right? So you're, you're not gonna get anything but Mercedes is what you'll have there. All right, so 25 cars that are uh, not Mercedes. The last thing I'll show is that since this is a grep, a grep function, right? It's regular expressions. Um, something that you can do is just throw a regular expression in there and it'll find it. So this is kind of a lame example, but let's say, let's say we, we want to find anything with a number in it. So what we can do for that is we'll do MT cars and then we'll filter. We'll say grep L and then inside of the string, you can put a regular expression, All right? So before it is, it's technically matching on our, on our regular expression for the uh, Mercedes, but we could do something like zero through nine. All right? So what this regular expression does is it searches for anything that has anything that contains at least one number, right? And we'll throw a comma, we'll do car. And so we keep 17, all right, so there's 17 different cards that contain at least one number. All right, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to press like so other people can find it. Subscribe if you want more of the best R content that there is anywhere in the world. It's right here, baby. And you have a good day. Thanks for watching.